Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I want to show a change that I made to my workflow for my daily journals. So I was doing all of my daily journaling and note taking in Obsidian and recently I've made a change so that I'm doing this now in Notion and I will show you why. Let's go ahead and take a look at Notion. In Notion I have this database for all my notes Right now you can see mostly they're all daily journals as, as depicted here by the area of the type and there are some other notes in here that I've put in here and, and I also have um, properties in here to where I can put relations to the either the daily journal or any notes that I take in here to other related notes that are within this database or if they're say book notes, I have read rise integration set up here. I can also link those to any books that I might be taking notes on as well. But this one's particularly for the the daily journals. So let me go ahead and open up one. Oh, one more thing before I get into that is that I also set up a default template that I have set to be reoccurring. So I'm using the same template like I've used in Obsidian and with a couple different tweaks. So we'll go ahead into one of these right now and show you what the tweaks are. So all this stuff is pretty much the same until we get here to open tasks. So one of the pain points that I've I've have in Obsidian is that I just never really got used to switching so as I'm typing out a note and I want to have a task for something that I know is going to have to end up on my calendar having to basically either put a placeholder for the task and then later going back into the calendar and setting this stuff up manually um, or just right at the moment saying okay switching over to the calendar do it and then switch back that's always been somewhat of a pain point for me so now in Notion, if I do this in Notion with the um, integration with Occiflow, so this is the other added key thing here to this particular workflow is that I've started using Occiflow for my calendar and planning. So with this integration, I can do all of my daily journaling and say planning or initial type planning um, of tasks in Notion, have those automatically sync over into Occiflow, and then in Occiflow I can move further from, you know, honing in on when I want to do certain tasks for either a project or just generalized uh, to-dos that I might have. So if I come in here, just an example, um, if I do a task and I do test one here for this particular task. Um, I can set all these up, give them a date, and when I give them a date, I also have a status that's set up on these here. Let me shrink this window here so we can see some of the other. So I have the status that's set up here. And as long as the status isn't set to done, it will sync into Occiflow. Now this here, let me come over here, I will force the sync to, to go. It takes a, a, a minute or two for it to actually show up over there during its, um, during its sync cycle. But I can force that, let it show up right now. And what I can do from here and is, is move it into one of the time slots for this same day that I schedule it for or actually even the next day or next week or whenever and what happens is that you probably see this little notification popped up here where there's an update it pops up an alert showing that there was a change to the task from Occiflow and what had happened there so I can mark that as red I can also see the change here in the task itself so if I open up that task I can see that it's been scheduled for five o'clock on the 23rd. Now, 
one drawback to this integration today between Notion and Occiflow is that you cannot set up a duration on the task and have that flow into Occiflow. Um, no pun intended. But so when it comes into Occiflow, within the configuration of the settings, let me see if I just go in here, task, you give it a default uh, duration here, and this is what it takes. It takes this duration right there. So you can play with that to whether you want it to be 15 minutes or an hour or whatever. Um, but I've just found that 30 minutes is fine. That way it's big enough so that you can see it on the calendar. And then you can come in here and you can expand it out if you want it to be smaller or bigger on the calendar itself. Now this particular, like I changed it from 30 minutes to an hour here. This change did not change the, the, the scheduled uh, due date for this task. So nothing really will update here because again, it does not su support durations, even though you can come into, um, into Notion and set an, a start and end date so that you would have a duration. I did talk to chat with um, the Occiflow support and they say they, they are going to enhance this synchronization or integration between Notion and Occiflow so that there will be a duration and possibly even a property to where we can sync over even a description of what that task is for as well. So I look forward to that. But this has been a, a really nice change from Obsidian um, and in my workflow to where I can easily get tasks, put them in here and not worry about doing anything on the calendar and knowing that these tasks will sync over into the calendar and all I have to do is do my planning from Occiflow. The other key here is that when I'm when I've done a task I can just mark it done right here I can either set this to mark it done in Notion where I can go to Notion or I can do nothing but the key here is to mark it done in Notion it shows up done here and then eventually it will disappear out of this list of tasks that need to be done or that are open as it's indicated here within Notion. So I don't have to mark it done here and then come over here and mark it done as well like I did in Obsidian. So I don't have any broken tasks between or split brain type of scenario going on with my tasks and my and any projects that I have going on. So this is a really good um, kind of enhancement to the workflow. The only downside that I will kind of highlight here is the search ability within Notion. I do not like. I, I don't know if you've used search within Notion, but the search in Notion is not great. Um, just one, like one issue that I do have is when, when you're putting in words, let's say there's a person that you need to look up and you're not sure if they're how to spell their name. If you're not sure how to spell the name exactly, the search may not populate any um, results with things that are like or start off with what you're typing in there. See, like in this case here, I put D-I-X. I know there's a word in there uh, for Dixie. And when I type the full word in, it shows up. But if I just have partial, it does not. And this is, it happens with any other, other words you might have within your database. As you start typing, it does not really do a great job of listing things out um, as you type the word out to give you some uh, results that are like what you're searching for. Um, so in Obsidian, you have search is great you can even do regex search searches within obsidian so this is the only downfall that i have or negative 
um, that I have with Notion, and it could make me resort back to moving things back into Notion, I mean, into Obsidian, but what I think I'll do is I'll keep it here. The information that I typically put in my journal, if I, if I do transition it into something that I want to keep in, say, my PKM or my knowledge base, then I will just copy that over into Notion so or into Obsidian for that long term, that longevity of that particular information or knowledge. So that was pretty much it for this this particular video. If you liked the video, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.